Um, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Yu Yexie from Colorado School of Mines. The topic I'm go going to bring you today is the chess pieces recognition with, uh, using oriented chamfer matching with a comparison to CNN. And my co-authors are Gong Guo Tang and William Hoff. So um, the problem we want to address is to do recognition for chess games. Basically, we want to recognize the 3D pieces with only a single wheel. And there are several challenges, including the occlusion and based on the location of PC on, the, on your board, you will have different rotation scales and you also, it is also textureless. You can use um, uh, RCNN to do this job if, in case you have a large, data, uh, large scale of data set, but this is not true for our case. So we propose a comp, uh, template-based method to do this job. So the main idea is we first estimate the pose of squares through the transport recognition and then we use the template for recognition. And for the transport recognition, we use a geometric-based property transport recognition algorithm. The main idea is to find two group of lines, and then we find correspondence by fitting the observed line to the model of a transport. After that, we will find the four corner point of the transport, and using that, we can find the vanishing point of the uh, transport boundary, and we can estimate the camera intrinsic matrix and rotation matrix. And with all those matrix, we can estimate the normal vector of each square. So we can overlap that onto the transport as shown in the figure. Then we count the edge point in an each square in an autophoto roughly to determine the area of interest. And then we prepare 12 templates for each type of pieces with different viewing angles. Um, here is an example for the Bishop templates. Um, the matching process is quite straightforward. Um, during the matching for each area of interest, we select the template based on the estimated post, and then we rotate it based on the normal vector and scale it based on the uh, square size. So how to measure the similarity between the contour in the template and the contour in the test image? Well, you, we use the oriented chamfer score. It contains two parts, the distance score and the orient, orientation score. The final score is the weighted sum of these two. And the higher similarity, the lower score you will get. And finally, we can also determine the color by um, compared to the weight intensity of empty, white, and black squares. So um, in the experiment, we compare our method to the convolutional neural networks, including the Google Nets, um, ResNet50, and VGG, in terms of different resolution, occlusion, pan angle, and analyze their processing time. Um, here an example of what I'm saying. The first and second row show an example for the uh, test image of different resolution, the third image, Show, uh, third row shows the test image with 60% occlusion, and the last row shows the uh, test image with 30 degree pan angle. And we can see that as, as the resolution increase, we will have more detailed contour for, comparison, for matching and comparison. So um, the accuracy increase. And as the occlusion increase, we will lose those features and the uh, accuracy decrease. And for as the pan angle increase, we'll have irregular occlusion, and that drops the accuracy as well. So here's the uh, processing time. We analyzed the process time for the oriented chamfer matching with different um, parameter settings, and we compare them on the implementation of CPU. So finally, we recognize the 3D pieces with a single view, and we compare the proposed method to CNN. We provide an alternative method to, for pieces recognition with a when a large data set is not available. And we have more experiments and detail in the poster and the, all, the, all the code are on the GitHub. Thank you. <laughs>